Good evening. Um, today we're going to do a little something different in FlyCorp. Uh, the last few FlyCorp streams, I basically picked specific regions, and sh those were fun. But they're starting. I feel like they're starting to get repetitive because I've, I've. There's only so many times I can do the regions, knowing I can't finish the whole globe yet. So the regional runs were kind of getting um, a little repetitive and not as fun for me anymore now that I've now that I've practiced every region. So in order to make the fun in Fly Corp last a little longer, I decided to try something different. I invited my friend Rando Cardrissian to come play the game with me. And let me show you what I mean. I have set up in here random.org. This is it picks a random spot on the globe. As soon as I hit that pick coordinates button, it'll pick a random spot on the globe. And that'll be the country I start in. And then whenever I feel like it's time to expand, we'll come right back here, pick another spot, and we'll let Rando pick the countries. And there's only one rule. I cannot pick a country unless Rando tells me to build it. So I have a feeling things are going to break pretty quickly when we have countries that are nowhere near each other. But let's give this a try and see how it goes. Let's see where we're starting. We are, let's zoom in on that. Rondonia. What the heck is Rondonia? Rondonia is not even in Flycorp. So let's come over here. I'm going to ask Google what Rondonia is because I've never heard of that. Is that a new country? Ah, it's part of Brazil. Uh, I don't want to start in Brazil. Um, I had said we weren't going to refuse what Rando says. Unless he says Russia. If he says Russia, we have the right to refuse that one. But I kind of don't want to start Brazil because if we start in Brazil, we'll be in Brazil all night. And we won't be going anywhere any anytime soon. But you know what? It tells us we have to start in Brazil, so let's play by the rules and start in Brazil. All right, our game window is up. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, hold on. I'm having a technical issue real quick. Brazil. Yeah, looks like my playback is quite a bit behind where I am tonight. So when we raid later, I'll introduce the raid and then wait a few minutes for the playback to catch up. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start Brazil. And you know what? That's actually a pretty decent starting country, though things will break pretty immediately. And I always set up a second. Uh, I set up a southern hub in Rio, and I use Brasilia for the rest of the country. So yeah, we'll be in Brazil for a while because Brazil makes a, it's like U.S. or Canada with it's higher than no, average number of cities. And already things are broken. I was expecting that to happen though. Actually, even though Brazil's going to break. And we've already get having a city shut down. You kidding me? All right. Since things are going to be broken for the whole game anyway, we may as well leave thing. We may as well let things break.
Novo Hamburgo, New Hamburger. Okay, I said I wouldn't make fun of place names when playing this game. But there's a really juicy one in Benin over in Africa, if it gives us that country. Actually, things are off to a pretty decent start right now. But I know things can break pretty quickly. It's okay for things to be broken for a while. We're just watching for cities to grab cities as they appear because every city helps us out now that things are broken. Yeah. We're... Brazil is tough for a starter country, but not that bad. Like you can see, it's making money even while being broken. I think Brazil will need a third hub, actually. We'll make Menaeus our. Th uh, well, I wanna. I want. I want to think about which city I want to make the third hub. So everything will go to Brasilia for now. You can see money is ha happening even with um, us being broken. So. going to take us a while to get into the real shenanigans, I think, just because it chose Brazil first. But that's okay. We can deal. Rando is known to be a trickster. And, um, well, I kind of didn't exactly tell him that I would be needing him for the stream, so... He played a little prank on me, but that's okay. 
will play the game by his rules. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to pick a city to run a northern hub out of. I just haven't decided which one yet. We'll worry about that when things are running a bit smoother. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
All right, sorry I'm not talking much. It's just there isn't much to talk about right now. But every time we hit 4,000, we're going to pick a red city and optimize. Uh, that's about a specific airport, so that automatically gets optimized when we have a All right, where is that airport? Forget counting cities. We're just going to do our best to make sure we catch them all. Once we take care of all the red cities, we'll come back and count cities. That's one of the ones we already optimized, though. I know that for a fact. Hi. Every time we hit 4,000, we'll pick a red city and bring it up to speed. And once Brazil runs smoothly, we will go back to Rando and pick another country. Oh, I did that prematurely, it looks like. And once we get rid of the red cities, it'll be a lot quicker to optimize all the other cities. We'll use the indicator to pick our cities moving forward, I think, except Brasilia. That's going to stay red as long as these are all running first level planes. Tell you what we'll do. We're going to do mid level optimization. That only costs 400 per city. Hopefully, 
mid-level optimization will get will unbreak things good enough for us to really start moving on. And if we get any specific city random events, we'll take care of those as well. I've been streaming. I started about 20 minutes ago and things are still broken. So, yeah, I want to step up Brazil a little bit because I want to make a whack, wild, and crazy network here tonight. see an unconnected city up there that hasn't escaped my eye. So there's a Campo Grande and a Campina Grande on opposite ends of the country. Interesting. Yeah, this appears to have been the master play. Because the cities are starting to come off of red.
And this is a targeted city, so let's do that. And then let's do this. And then let's bring in the other planes because this is a hub. Hub link. There's only a few countries I have multiple hubs in, but this is one of them where I considered it essential. That wasn't spaced well enough, in my opinion. All right, the hub link is maxed out. So the city gets its promotion. Let's start bringing up the cities one by one. I keep getting warnings about Fortaleza, so let's take care of that one. Now that we've lost, now that we've taken care of the overcrowding penalty, I want to focus on getting the rest of these cities up to speed quickly and efficiently. Let me just do a quick count here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven more cities off of this hub. Let me just check. Okay, this, the southern the southern region is complete. Let's do this. And we're going to turn Menaeus into the northern hub because of its central location. And we'll max out the, uh, we'll get Menaeus running at full strength. We'll max up and then we'll start working on its cities.
All right, so that hub link is working well. And now let's let's start moving cities over. Oof. We're having a strike action, so we're gonna wait a bit before we before we finish the uh, Brazil district, or I should say the central district. Let's see how many cities do I put? That's a decent number of cities. How many cities are here? I can move a couple more off, I think. Let's go ahead and do this. And you know what? Money's happening. We don't need to worry too much about the plane strike. Because any country we build at this point We'll be able to do just fine. So let's just finish optimizing everything else. Let me make sure. Well, I I did each city as I moved it, so of course that group would be fully optimized. We're almost ready to pick our next country. And because Rando gave us Brazil, money gain won't be an issue for the for the next couple countries. But once it starts giving us wacky trans global links, there's really no way to handle those except to break those up as we get countries in between, unfortunately. Because the rule is for this run, Rando's choice. I can't go off it no matter how bizarre Rando decides to play.
It just means that the first country or two will be able will be able to be fully optimized right away. All right, let's check. Let's check the, the list. Brazil is fully optimized. We are ready to move on to the next country. Come on, Rando. We're going back to you. All right, let's pick a country. What's going on here? It picked a random place in the middle of the ocean. Off the coast of where exactly? Brazil. We just did Brazil. North Pacific. It's a good thing we're in the middle of the ocean because we're nowhere near anything, anything that we built so far. The marker is in Nigeria. Okay, looks like we're going to Africa. Which city is the closest? 2091, 2133. So it says it's closest to Rio. I'm going to trying to space these as best as I can. Now, with only a few countries, it's not going to be so bad. But and if we get countries in between, I'll be able to link through them. So and cut some of these weird links when we get countries in between. That will be the best case scenario. All right, we're done with the link, so let's come over here and zoom in on the action. And we're going to stay until we have until cities stop appearing. Already I can tell Rando's in a playful mood tonight. And of course we got the strike again, but that doesn't hurt us too much right now. The tricky thing is if we get Europe, we'll have to link that here, which means that uh, if Nigeria has the African disease border closure, which happens surprisingly often when you have an African country, it means Brazil will be cut off from whatever we get past Nigeria. But that's a risk we're just going to have to take with Rando. I put my game in Rando's hands tonight, so that's how we're going to play. There's not really much to talk about tonight. But I'll. I don't want too much dead air. I have a feeling things are going to break pretty quickly tonight. Of course, I've been saying that. The other rule with Rando is one country at a time. And I can't build anything unless Rando tells me to.
thanks to Brazil, money is happening efficiently. Once things start breaking, things will slow down. So at least we're building a little bit of a head start here. So we've been trying. I don't know how long I'm going to go tonight, but I may just go until things break irreparably. And you know it's get bound to happen. If we get lucky, Randa will pick some countries that are near each other, and it'll be easy, at least to relatively easy, at least to manage the linking those. And if it Rando gives us countries that are between other countries we've built, we can always uh, redo the uh, international links. But this is a transatlantic crossing, so I don't think we'll be able to redo this link. But we might be able to build other transatlantic crossings later. We'll see. We'll see what Rando tells us to do. Actually, even though it involved us, the starting country, taking longer than anticipated, I'm actually kind of glad that um, Rando picked one of the uh, higher producing countries in terms of money, early money gain. Because it means we can build a couple more countries before things start breaking. I just want to see how insane Rando can get. And if things break, they break. You just can't help it with some of the way some of the links that are it's bound to give us. And the other, the only other rules that we have to wait for all the cities to stop generating, so we can only be in one country at a time. Now, if it lands us in the middle of the ocean, um, then we can always do a redo, unless there's a coast in the picture. If there's a coast in the picture. We have to see which coast we landed at. That's an interesting looking airline network so far, I will admit, but it's only going to get more interesting as the game goes on. In terms of transatlantic crossings, that's not a terrible one. But it, transatlantic cro crossings are where your game is going to start breaking down if you manage to get global. And I've never been able to practice it properly 
because if I build one side of the crossing, that's where my game starts to get get laggy to the point of being unplayable. So I've never been able to do a proper crossing practice. I, and I bet even if you balanced it with just the western border of Africa and Europe, things will get hair tricky as you build into the interior and extend out to the rest of the world. So for right now, I still don't know how to do transatlantic crossings, but we'll see what happens. I think now that we have a crossing for right now, uh, Looks like Nigeria has a lot of cities too. I hope Nigeria is almost done because I want to move on to the next country. Okay, planes are still greenish. They're yellowish though. They're about half. Uh, all right, I think we're ready to move on to the next country. Let's come back to Rando. Let's see where we're going. Uh, ocean. Ocean, but ocean near where? Gulf of Aden, where are we? Ah, uh, that's the tip of Africa. Are we closer to, you know what? Let's make a rule that it has to land on land or on a named island that's in the game. Ocean. Paraguay. Okay, that's not too bad. We've already got Brazil and Paraguay is like next door to Brazil. Rando's actually being nice to us? Okay, let's do this. Paraguay. And we can just link that to Rio. we have a bunch of countries, Rando may start giving us neighboring countries. That's going to be cool. All right, that's set up. Just wait till cities stop generating. I know Paraguay doesn't get a lot of cities.
I'll try and keep the country centered in the frame while it's being the featured country. Philadelphia, interesting. Hopefully it'll give us a bunch of average size countries rather than a few really big ones because the more cities we have, the more things start to get laggy. So, and I want to make a really bizarre looking network before we uh, get to that point where it becomes unplayable. I have no hard stop tonight. I can keep this going for a while if I wanted to. And we also want to keep an eye on our transcontinental link. Plans are still greenish yellow, but I should be concerned if I can't, if there's, uh, I should be a little concerned about that, I think. I mean, unless Rando gives us another country that's on the Atlantic, and then I can uh, run uh, another link. Oh, this is more cities than I thought Paraguay ha had, but that's okay because right now each city means potential income. I think the transatlantic crossing is going to come back to haunt me real soon, but we'll see what happens. Okay, it looks like Paraguay is linked up. I'm concerned that those planes are already turning yellowish. But then again, Brazil is a huge country in terms of passengers. So let's, let's bring up our next country. We are going to ocean. Oof. How to judge this one? I mean, it's clearly right off the coast of Brunei, which is just one city, but it landed in the ocean. We'll go again. We're on land. Please don't tell me that's where it looks like. Australia. We landed on land. Hmm. And the only way to get there with the network we have going, Australia is in another tough country. 
we're going to have to let things break. But the way I do Australia is I do three hubs. Two of them don't appear till later in the generation, though. So we're just going to buy Australia. We're going to let things break. And then we'll link it to Nigeria. All right. We'll build Australia the best and as efficient as we can. But I'm going to want to use Perth, my West Coast hub, in order to link to Nigeria for this. So we will, we won't be getting Perth for a while. So let's do this and just start attaching the cities as they come, ignoring the central and western cities till their hubs appear. And things will inevitably break here. Rando is being silly with us tonight, isn't he? I thought he was going to play nice when he gave us Paraguay after we had already built Brazil, but he did send us all the way across the world. Inevitably, these cities are going to break because they're not linked to the global network yet. We got Perth. We can connect to our network. Perth came a lot earlier than it usually does for me when I play Australia. We're still going to miss some of the northern cities, I think. Let's get Perth up. Let's get the Perth link going up to speed. And then I'll start bringing in the Nigeria link. And things don't have to stay broken for long. We're going to miss some city pop-ups while we're doing this. It's more important to get linked up to the global network, though. If we get some countries in between later, obviously we're going to break this link. And I'm trying to figure out how best to space these on account of the fact that this is such a big, wide link. So now we have two city pop-ups. Let's wait a little bit because the first plane hasn't even started its way back yet. So that's three city pop-ups. All right. I knew things would break. Those cities I have to leave as is. They're part of the central district. But I will go ahead and put them at level in order to buy us some time until the until their hub appears.
We've been going just over an hour, and I can tell this is already going to be a chaotic show. It already is a chaotic show. That's a funny name for a city, but you know what? I said I wasn't going to make fun of city names. Australia has a lot of silly city names. Can I make fun of Australian city names for a couple minutes? I mean, you got Wagga Wagga and Toowoomba so far. I said I wasn't going to though, so. Let's go back to Brazil for a minute. We got a tornado, so we want to fix that one city. They're still green. Hopefully they'll hold out for a while longer. Ah, uh, we lost Rio. Rio went out. This is going to totally break things. That means nobody can travel on our transatlantic network. Why did it have to be a hub city? We've got enough cities that it didn't need to be a hub city, but we just lost Rio where to draw the line. I'm not sure where exactly to draw the line. Bundaberg, that's another interesting place. I did it again. I'm sorry, Australians. Oh, man. It's passing relatively fast. We've still got the intra South America and the Nigeria to Australia network making us a little money, even with Rio knocked out. But the loss of Rio did partition my network. And of course, the cities that come off of Rio are all messed up now. I just want to make sure everything resolves. Well, yeah, those cities are green again. All right. And of course, the planes coming out of Rio are going to be red. There's going to be planes on the Atlantic are going to be uh, red for a little while. Okay, it looks like the Nigeria side is starting to recover. The Australia planes are already looking orange and yellow, though. That's not a good sign long term. I think we're looking at a situation where the network's going to turn red, unless Rando gives us a country between Australia and Nigeria. But rules are rules. There's nothing I can do about that right now.
Alice Springs. I don't remember if that's my hub or not, so. I wonder if Calgary got its name from a native mispronunciation of Calgary over in Canada. No, uh, I'm not going to take the time to look that up now. But interesting to think about. Okay, yellow, orange. My mom actually has a cousin who lives in Perth. I only met her once when she came in for my aunt's funeral. I'm going to wait a bit and see if I'm going to wait a bit and see if we get um, Mount Issa this game because I usually use that as my center. We just lost Nigeria. Things are broken again. Didn't we just have a cutoff of our of our international links like two events ago? That's why I don't want to use Africa for any critical links. But rules are rules, and Rando, right now, that's the only thing between Brazil, Brazil and Australia. So, the random events really are doing me a number today. I hope Rando gives me some countries between. Okay, Nigeria will be back up soon. Now, Gambia. And the loss of Nigeria means that people trying to leave Australia can't right now. Hey, they quarantined Nigeria for a second random event in a row? <sighs> I've never had a disease outbreak in the same country two consecutive turns. I've had, well, we only have one African country. <sighs> but that's just rude. And rules are rules, so I can't, it's not like I can just pick a country between myself to take care of it. But I've never had my uh, critical international links shut down for two consecutive random events. In the past, building regionally, there's always a way around. And so everybody trying to get out of Australia right now can't. Let's see how's Brazil doing. Uh, not so bad. Mostly yellows there. War nimble. Okay. Saying the name and s trying to say the name when not knowing the pronunciation, is that considered making fun of it? I really don't know. Calabar, where's Calabar? It's not showing us the thing for the random event, so I have no idea where this event is.
Ah, it's in Nigeria. Mount Isa, we got Mount Isa, that's my normal hub here, so let's bring it into play. It looks like things aren't breaking too bad yet. Let me connect Mount Isa over to Perth. And then I'll start getting all these cities in that region. I will say an hour and a quarter. We could keep this going for a little while longer, I think. Ni another Nigeria knockout? Are you kidding me? 569. Sure, it looks shorter. We'll put that on Isa. It looks shorter. So that's two city pop ups. I want to take care of these up here first. Why is that still orange? The fully maximized plans are... Sp oh, because they're trying to get to Brazil. And Brazil is currently inaccessible. Because Nigeria keeps having those disease outbreaks. So these cities won't even settle until the until we get our next random event. I want to see what happens when the event happens. Yep, they're emptying out now. All right. We're okay. Almost didn't even see there was a, they're clustered so thickly here. 
that I didn't even notice that when it was still green. It had to go yellow for me to see it. All the planes are red right now. But I think that has more to do with the fact that Nigeria just had to shut down. Things will balance out after a little bit, I think, I hope. Oh, I missed a city. All right. Let's wait a moment, make sure there's no more city pop ups, and then Australia. We did it kind of beautifully. Looks like things are going to start balancing out a little bit in terms of the international route. Hopefully we get something in between. That's already started to balance out. But Australia is a much longer length. Okay, I haven't seen a city pop up. Let's go find our next country. Have I been sitting on the browser for the entire Australian run? Man. Why didn't anyone say anything to me? Okay. Sorry, guys. You missed Australia. So let's find out where we're going, and then I'll show you what I did in Australia. We are going to... That's very clearly inside of Germany. Well, that's not exactly between Australia and Nigeria, and it's not between Brazil and Nigeria. So we're just going to have to offshoot it to whether it's closer to Nigeria or Brazil. I'm pretty sure that's going to be... I'll show you Australia in a minute. But yeah, basically what I did with Australia is Australia, I have a three-hub system, and Perth is running to Nigeria right now. And of course, Germany is going to get a random event at the moment I bring it up. Let's do some exploration. I know Australia is a no-go for this one. 3,186 or, yeah, that's a lot shorter. If we get, again, if we get anything between, we'll cut it down. If Nigeria breaks, it's going to be a really bad day for the whole network because it looks like Nigeria is now a central hub. Not only that, but Germany is getting increased traffic right now. Let me show you Australia real quick. Three hub system, 
Lots of clustering around the capital Canberra down here. A few cities around Perth. Up here, the cities in the north, I ran through Mount Isa. All right, but now it's time to focus on Germany. And of course, the planes going to Germany are going to be red right now, even though it doesn't have all cities on account of the fact that it just had a increased traffic event. How's Abuja doing? I mean, it's the central hub right now. Everything's running into and out of it. Surprisingly healthy. Okay. All right. Rando's choices are kind of interesting. I mean, look at that network. You know what? I'm kind of liking this rando format. I think I'm going to use it again in the future. Who knows what kind of crazy networks rando will build for us. All right. Those planes are still holding green. There's some greens coming into Australia, mostly yellows. How's Brazil looking? It runs from yellow, there's a red, there's some yellow. But we haven't overloaded the we haven't overloaded Abuja yet, Nigeria. I do hope it gives us some random country out here, though, so that I can, and I hope it gives us some countries we can use to run work around Nigeria so that we don't have to be dependent on African countries for our international links. That was scary, losing Nigeria three times out of four events. Considering right now Nigeria is our central hub. Okay, that's not going to hurt me too much. Germany should be almost done with cities if I remember correctly. I think until I get my other computer fixed and I can start my global run, I think my Flycorp streams are going to be rando networks. I think I'm going to kidnap rando and force him to play this game with me frequently. Because this has been an interesting game.
Now, I know I usually, um, for smaller countries, I only give one or two cities. I make them part of their neighbors. No way I'm doing that this game. We, we have specific rules to follow. If it gives us one of those countries that only has one or two cities, we still got to build it as itself. And I just know if it doesn't give us the in-between cities, things are inevitably going to start breaking. Let's just wait a bit. Make sure we're done getting cities. Yeah. I'm a little concerned about the Australia link right now, but that's holding. Australia is an isolated country, but it's a big one. Brazil has some orange planes going on, but mostly they're still green and yellow. I haven't seen a city pop up for a while, so let's, there's our network so far. Let's go ahead and find out where we're going next. We are going to, not the ocean, Venezuela. Again, that's kind of next, that is Venezuela, right? Yeah, yes. I don't want state lines. Yeah, definitely that's Venezuela. Okay, so that's next to Brazil. That's not going to be too hard. We'll run it out of the Brazil Northern Hub and things will be fine for Venezuela. That link isn't too bad, but it will burden the planes coming from the east, I think, to have another country here. Venezuela does generate a lot of cities. Most of the South American countries generate more cities than they look like they should. We'll be here for a little while. I think when I do my global run, I may do it by way of partially rando, where I'll let rando pick the regions that I do. Rando's got an interesting choice of lands going on here. It's funny, there's a city called Guyana when there's a country right next to Venezuela called Guyana. And I know I'm butchering that pronunciation. They're not spelled exactly the same, but you can tell that they're kind of, that they're based on, they're named after the same thing. Ah, those planes are looking oranger now. And Venezuela's only started generating its cities. I want to take some of the pressure off of Nigeria. Let me just see something. Yeah, that's not a master play yet. Let's see how things develop. 
before I move some links around. Uh, Venezuela and Mexico both have cities called Merida, which is interesting because, uh, in my mind at least, because there's a Disney princess named Merida, but she's not from this part of the world. She's from Scotland. And they're spelled exactly the same and pronounced, I assume, exactly the same, Merida. But she's Scottish, and these are Spanish countries. Well, I don't think money is going to be an issue. Right now, there's four distinct landmass regions in our network. But rule is we have to stay in Venezuela until cities stop appearing. The only time I can leave a country while it's still generating cities is when we first start it and I build the, the links to the other countries. My goal is to keep this game running until lag makes it unplayable. But if it keeps giving us big countries like this, that will happen with sooner con with uh, less countries rather than more. But yeah. I'm going to make a distinct playlist for uh, rando runs, I think, rather than make them in the master fly court. Sorry about the mishap with Australia. I'm not used to having two windows going when I play Flycorp for streams. I may do a rando run for the gaming group tomorrow. This is insane. <laughs> Where's San Cristobal? That was the tornado event. And I have standards I gotta keep up. Alright, that's one city I have to catch up. Was that city in Venezuela all along? There. Oh, uh, yeah, it was. Okay.
And right next to Venezuela, you can see Colombia, which is where Central America meets South America. And Colombia is notable for being where Disney's Encanto takes place. An amazing movie. And I want to do a stream where I just talk about Encanto. We lost Perth. That means the whole Australia is going to be cut off because Perth is my uh, hub. Is is the hub which has uh, well at least we didn't lose Nigeria, but the entirety of Australia being cut off is going to be a bad thing, at least for a little while. I want to watch the activity in Australia between city pop-ups. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it till the event ends, but I just want to make sure nothing's breaking bad. Sydney is starting to concern, but it's still yellowish green. And because my rule is I don't consider a country done till the hub city is maxed out, it means that had Rando given us a bunch of small countries to start, we would have been sitting for a little while after optimizing all the planes to max out the hub, and it would have taken a lot of time. Sydney's gone orange, but the event's about to end. All right, we're back to green. And now everybody in Australia who wanted to go out of Australia is coming to Perth. That link is going to be troublesome for a little bit. I haven't seen a city pop up in a little while. Let's pick our next country. All right, let us pick. Okay, what's going on here? Niger. Well, that's right next to Nigeria, isn't it? Okay. Rando's having a little bit of mercy. I do hope that I do I do I am hoping for something that's if I can get something like more north in the uh, Americas I'll be able to run that over to Germany and create a second transatlantic link and if it gives me something in Asia depending on where it is I might be able to create a stepping stone to Australia
Oh, we've increased traffic to Germany. That's okay because this particular link wasn't an, an overburdened link to begin with. So the planes are just, even if they go orange and red, they'll go back to being yellow as soon as the event is over. I wonder. But you know what? Niger is just a tad bit closer than Nigeria to Germany. We're redrawing that line. And Nigeria quarantined itself, but not Niger. We're going to, I just want to make sure that said 1641. How much was this line? Yeah, it's slight, it's a slight improvement. It's not quite as much of an improvement as I thought it was, just because uh, Niger's capital is uh, not centrally located. Most of the capitals aren't. I really like when the capitals are centrally located, but I haven't seen a city pop up in a while. Let's give it another minute or two and then see what happens. Can I run? I'm going to create a second transatlantic link and see if that helps to alleviate the issues. Now this event is for a city in Niger, so I want to wait a minute till things equalize out. Hmm. 
Let's see if I've done the right thing here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there will be some better distribution of the planes now that I have two links going. Yeah, that's straight red right now. But that's probably because of the random event, so. We lost Canberra. That's our East Australian hub. Which means Sydney is going to break again. Well, we haven't had a city pop up in a while, so let's keep rolling, shall we? Let's go. Let's go pick our new country. Okay. Where's this? We are going to, it looks like South Sudan. Okay. That's kind of near where we're working. It's at least on the, wait a minute. It's a little eastward. Nigeria into South Sudan and the Australia link, the Perth link is going to be moved into South Sudan. But let's go ahead and build South Sudan first, then I'll move Australia over. Rando's given us some interesting choices today. But the last few hits, Venezuela, Niger, and now South Sudan, are all pretty close to where I was building. So Rando didn't, so Rando is trying, it, lo it looks like Rando's trying not to be too terribly evil right now, which is interesting. Did I remember to do the capital over here? Yes. Did I remember to do Caracas? Yeah. All right. Looks like most of the transatlantic planes are now green and yellow. Building that link seems to have been a good call. We're going to wait till South Sudan is done, and then we're going to move Australia over. I want to be able to focus on, um, actually, it's okay. Uh, I def, I want to, the planes have been red on that link for a while. But focusing on one country at a time. So yeah, we'll move. The Australia planes are turning red though. Is it enough to turn Perth yellow? No, Perth isn't broken yet and neither does it look like is Abuja. So even though the planes are red and those are gonna start filling up fast. But now we have uh, three African countries, all of them are integral links. Lose one, like we just lost South Sudan, and we're not even done building it yet. K 
keep watching for City Pop. Actually, with South Sudan broken, nothing's going to happen. So this will be a uh, this will be well. We can't actually put the planes up yet. You have to go blindly when a country is shut down. All three of the my African countries right now have integral links on the network. One of them goes down, we lose a chunk of our network right now. If we can get something in the Middle East or Asia, we will run a back we will run a secondary route. Uh, secondary route, I think. Australia is about to break. So let's get this going. This isn't that much shorter. It's shorter enough that it may buy us some time in terms of continued expansion because there's more countries in the West than in the East. Of course, because I'm going by random coordinates rather than a random country list, um, the next country could really be anywhere. Those planes are red just because I shut down the net network for a little bit. I just want to see Campo Grande. That's not a hub. And we haven't had a city pop up in a while, so it's time for the next country. I just want to see. We do save a bit of distance. Let's go ahead and pick our next country. All right, we're about at the two hour mark for the stream. Let's come over here to the browser. Ocean, ocean, all right, that's in the, that's clearly in the waters just outside of North Korea, which is closer, South Sudan or, or Mount Isa. Let's find out. But yeah, that's definitely coastal North Korea. Even though it landed in the water, you can clearly see where it wants us to go. North Korea is not a lot of cities. Won't take us too long to build. All right, let's just take a let's just take a quick look here. To go here, thirty nine twenty six. That's considerably shorter. So now uh, Australia will. The Australia link will have to bear all the traffic for uh, both the uh, the South Sudan into the South Sudan into a uh, Perth link is going to need to pick up all the traffic from uh, for Australia and North Korea. 
but North Korea is not a huge deal because there's only like 10 cities. Yeah, these random runs are actually pretty fun. And they make the gameplay a lot more interesting than when I was just doing regional builds. I'm going to make this a regular format, I think. Interesting. That's going to increase traffic on that link. I'm strongly resisting the urge to build South Korea because, hey, rules are rules, so I'm not allowed to build it unless Rando tells me so. Because normally I do the Koreas together at the same time. This is totally playing with my sense of tradition. Just, just for curious, how bad is it if I try to link this over to Berlin and close this? Uh, numbers say it's actually not as bad as it looks. Probably has something to do with uh, the world's actually thinner up here because of the way maps are projected, but I'm not doing that right now. All right, looks like North Korea is done. Let's bring in our next country selection. All right, Rando, what you got for us? All right, there's definitely land there. Oh dear. We are going to Canada next. Canada is a big one. I do two hubs in Canada. Hmm. Probably. Berlin to Ottawa, and maybe Ottawa into Venezuela. Let's see what I can pull off with Canada. Canada's a big one, and we're already at two hours. This might be a big finale kind of country, but I'm not sure if I'm, we'll see how I feel after I build Canada, because I'm not sure if I'm ready to end yet. So I'll build Ottawa, Berlin real quick. Okay, it doesn't look like that's going to be too bad a link. We'll see about connecting South America a little bit later.
We lost Niger, which means Germany and Canada are currently cut off from everything else. Not as big a deal for Canada because we just start, started building it, but. Africa's got to get its sack together. It's really messing with my game. How long is our link from Ottawa to Caracas? Doesn't look like it's bad. So we have at least a loop on this side of the network. So now at least there's a way around into Germany if Africa gets cut off. Winnipeg, that's part of my western district. It has to wait for a bit. This is an interesting network. We have enough countries now that if it gave us Russia, we wouldn't be allowed to complain about it. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, it doesn't look like that's suffering too much yet. I want to get that into place. Usually I get Edmonton pretty early. Canada also has an Edmonton. as Edmonton in the west and Edmonton in the east. Or Edmonton, I'm not sure. Ed, Edmonton, I think. Don't get them confused because uh, they're on opposite ends of the country. I want to check the Perth flights. Orange coming in there, orange. That concerns me. These links, the transatlantic links into Africa are concerning me. Germany is doing all right. Looks like the West District really wants to be built. I'll wait around another city or two.
to see if Edmonton sh finally shows up. Winnipeg is starting to be a concern. It's turning a sickly yellow color. Rules of the game, you can only build what Rango tells me to build, so... That's what our network looks like right now. We got Edmonton. It's time to make Canada a thing. Winnipeg is now a bright yellow. Lag is starting to be a thing, but it's not at the point where it affects the game too much. I could probably go a few more countries in this state. Let's get Winnipeg first. It's been sitting out here, turning yellow. Kamloops. I said I wasn't going to make fun of cities. That's more of a thing in Australia than Canada, though. For the most part, Canada seems to have reasonably named cities. Which country has the random event? South Sudan, okay. Interesting. It seems Rando doesn't like Europe tonight. It only gave us one so far. I am concerned about what's going on. I'm going on over on the Australia side of things though. I mean, Actually, that's a green plane going into Australia. Well, Korea is in a lot of cities. All right, maybe I should. Maybe it's not time to concern yet. We lost Nigeria. That means parts of the network are down now. I would like to get something between Germany and Korea though. Because that will give me an alternate route into Australia. 
if one of the African countries goes out. Still, as long as Canada is still making cities, we can't worry about that now because we can't ask Rando for the next country until this one is done. That's the rule. I missed a pop-up. What was that? Uh, I look away for one minute. That's okay. Here we go. Canada makes a lot of cities. I'm sure we'll be here for a while. Yeah, if we can land something between Germany and Korea, we'll have redundancy around Africa. Hopefully Randall will be nice to us and let us have that. It's the strike action, but at this point in the game it doesn't matter because we're making money faster than we can spend it. I mean, we're in the millions right now and we just keep increasing. Like building a plane doesn't even make an effect on that number. Sydney, our second Sydney on the game today. Yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying this format and things aren't breaking quite as much as I thought they would, but that doesn't mean that they won't on future runs if Rando's having a weird day. Like I thought Canada was bizarre given the countries we already had, but turns out Canada's actually doing well for us. We've created the western half of a workaround for the Africa issues. Nothing we can do to fix traffic in Africa itself, though, if we get the, uh, we could make an African circle. That way, if we have alternate ways in, because we have three African countries already now, so there is redundancy there. And nobody said that the links I build have to be permanent. I mean, we, we moved, we can move international links as long as we only put on the map the countries that Rand Rando tells us to. That's the big rule of this of this version of the game. I think Canada's almost done with cities. I know it gets a lot. You can see clusters here in the west and a cluster over here in the east.
Wouldn't it be something if I attempted to do the global run with Rando? But for that, I would use a list of countries, not the uh, not the random coordinates, because with a list of countries, the way the lists work on random.org is I'll be able to remove countries we've already done from the list and not have repeats. I can't do that with the uh, random coordinates picker. And you saw that sometimes it drops us in the ocean, which is a no-go for this game. How's the German link going? It's pretty solid right now, as is the Venezuela link. Yeah, I would definitely play this format again. I was a little nervous going into it, but... There's our Edmonston. I was a little nervous going into this, but I think it's... And I know sometimes Rando is going to be really mean and make decisions that are unplayable and that turn red quickly. We just got to work with what he gives us, you know? Let's see, how's the Australia link going? Ooh, oranges and reds and yellows. I have some concerns about that. The transatlantic down here are fine. Looks like some of that's going through Germany. Over here has a Korea link. Ah, that's still running smoothly. Okay. So it's this Perth to South Sudan link that's got the issue. And I know that if I can get something between Berlin and, and Pyongyang over in Korea, if I can put something in the middle there, that will alleviate some of the traffic on the Perth to Africa link. Guas do Alito. I think that's Venezuela. That was the tornado event. And because I standardize my air, my local airports, I have to go fix it. Done. Back to Canada. Canada should be almost done generating cities. Keyword almost. And you know what? I don't feel like ending yet. I'm having too much fun with this. Okay, I think Canada's wrapping up. Let's wait another moment or two and then Wow, that's an interesting network so far. All right, it doesn't look like we're getting any more countries. 
I mean, any more cities. So it's time for Rando to pick our next country. Ocean. But that's the ocean right off the coast of New Zealand. So we're rolling with it. We've already got Australia. So New Zealand is all pretty much on network. So let's come over here. Definitely can bear for this one. I mean, for the hub link. And that's going to hurt the Africa link even more if we can't get something between. New Zealand will build pretty quickly. All right, that's set up. The hub is ready. Let's wait for our cities. We had to wait for a little bit to get that random event. I think we're going to hit the lag limit soon. I'll keep this going in other few countries if I can. Since I'm feeling great right now, we're only at two and a half hours, but if lag makes the game annoying to play, then we're going to call it. Ah, interesting. Doing it in. Hmm. Like Australia, there's some uh, funny place names in New Zealand, but not nearly as many. I think New Zealand only does about a dozen cities. We won't be here long. If it lands in the ocean off the coast of something, I can use my uh, best guess to figure out where it is, or even, uh, what was I saying? We just lost South Sudan, which means Australia, New Zealand, and North Korea are cut off from the rest of the network. Wangari. That almost sounds African. And there I go with stereotypes again. Sorry. I want to keep an eye on Sydney. Sydney is really concerning me right now. It's turning bright orange. Second consecutive outbreak. Sydney's going to overload, and there's nothing I can do about it. 
Actually, Niger. City's clearing out because the traffic's going to run to South Sudan, which runs through Nigeria. False alarm. Australia's fine right now. Niger is the one that's shut down. And Germany is not cut off right now because we've run it through Canada, which runs through Venezuela. And these random countries suddenly are looking like a um, creative running of the networks. That's going to be the name of Rando Plays Fly Corp. As long as the countries that it picks are small, we'll be able to play a little longer. If it gives us another big country, in terms of number of cities, of course, we're going to hit the unplayability level of lag pretty soon. I could go another couple countries myself, but if the game's not playable, then Niger quarantined for the second event in a row. That's a pretty triangle that I've built there, isn't it? Perth, Mount Isa, Canberra, Kaikoura. Another interesting place name. I mean, I, c I could theoretically go all night if I wanted to, but, um, I'm limited by when the game becomes unplayable. So, and it's given us a few big countries. We got Canada, we got Brazil in terms of, and Australia in terms of number of cities. So it hits with only one European country, though. That's a surprise. The Rando's been favoring Southern Hemisphere, or the Rando's been favoring areas I don't play in a lot. I mean, I play Europe all the time, and occasionally I play the Western Hemisphere and sometimes East Asia. But all right, so Germany has increased traffic. Um, watch for city updates. How's the Perth to Africa? Well, that's going to be all red right now because of the event in Germany. So, all right, looks like we're done with new cities in New Zealand. So let's come back over, pick another country. Peru, we're going back to South America. And I think that's a big country in terms of number of cities. It's really liking South America today, isn't it? What's what's closest to it? Peru is one of two South American countries that has a Disney animated movie based in it. Let's see. 909 or, yeah, we're going through Brazil's North District. Peru is one of those countries that generates more cities than it looks like it should, but we'll get there. Like I said, I could go all night if I wanted to. 
if game lag wasn't an issue, I could take this all night. But it's already taken about 5 to 10 seconds to load the random events. Increased traffic to South Sudan, but South Sudan, but that's kind of the middle of my network anyway, so I hope this doesn't overload all everything though. I like this format. And one of the cool things about this format is no two game no two runs are ever going to be the same because the country selections are completely randomized. And it's true sometimes it rando could go insane and make the links impossible, but for the most part things to be seem to be kind of holding out right now. I'm concerned about the Perth link though. Looks like going into the Australia side of things isn't too bad. Again, I apologize for that forgetting to show Australia mishap earlier this stream. Um, this was a new this was a new format I tried. And I'm doing it again. Hold on. What the heck? All right. Sorry about that. You missed about the first half of Peru. Sorry about that. I connected it to Brazil's northern district because it was slightly closer than the hub in Paraguay. There's going to be increased traffic to North Korea. The only way into North Korea right now is through Australia. I mean through Africa and then Australia. Because it has not yet given me a country between Germany and North Korea. Even though I've been asking Rando nicely for the last few countries to give me a country that I can build a way around there. Because if I had a. Because the way I have things set up right now, if I had a, if I had a link between Germany and North Korea. Then um, an Africa border closure, closure would not shut down any country other than the country that is shut down itself. There will be ways around on the network. I mean, with something between Germany and North Korea, there is redundancy and ways around that don't go through Africa for all of the countries that aren't in Africa.
it's interesting there's a city named Cusco in Peru because Cusco is the name of uh, the main character in Disney's Emperor's New Groove. Cusco must be a Peru thing. There I go making assumptions about town names again, sorry. I try not to do uh, things like that where I just make assumptions. I don't want to offend anyone. We've got a nice little South American uh, network going. As long as lag's not doesn't get to like half a minute, I can keep things going a while longer. We're already at two and three quarters hours, but I have a feeling these rando fly corp streams are going to be a little bit longer than my average streams just because I like this format so much. And it's a refreshing change of pace from playing the same regional runs over and over again. Okay, not a hub. And that starting to worry me how long it took that random event to load. Um Twelve countries so far. Let's go for a thirteenth. Actually, we're going on almost three hours and things got laggy. So let's actually end stream here 
and find somebody to raid. Um, let's see. Abby's on. Let's go to Abby C Music. She's a really talented music music streamer. Let's go ahead and send the raid there. Okay, stream's lagging a bit, so once I say goodnight, I'm gonna wait for the stream to catch up before I actually send the raid. But we're actually before I go there, let me make sure that they're not ending stream because that would be bad. I just, uh, I don't want to be on a raid train tonight. I want to pick one person to go over to to end my stream. Two hours even. What's their quest status? That's usually a way of knowing whether they're going to end or not. I can't see an indicator. Just to be safe, let me see if there's someone else I can raid into. Let's see. Well, that's an interesting run today. We got Canada, Brazil, Venezuela, Paraguay, uh, Peru, Nigeria, Niger, South Sudan, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and North Korea. I think 12 countries will be the uh, format for Rando from now on, just because 12 is a nice easy number to remember, and uh, things start to lag up if you get too many of the big countries. Um, let me see. Two hours even as well. Also no indicator of request status. I can't tell. We're going to raid Heavenly Raina tonight, I think. She doesn't look as tired as ABC Music does. So I'm going to wait for my uh, playback to catch up. And uh, then we're going to raid. Have a good night, everyone. I think she doesn't look as sick does. So I'm going to wait for
is a waterfall We're one in the river and one again after the fall Swimming through the void we